it's morning day seven now out at sea. Yesterday we caught our first dorado, which is awesome. So we had dorado yesterday for dinner, and we're gonna have dorado today for dinner as well. And this night we also got the first flying fish. Hi. Now it really feels like we're getting into the trade wind sailing. It's nice. Today we're celebrating. We are a third of the way and uh, we started the engine today to make some water. And it started on the first try. So now everybody gets a drink. And everybody gets a shower. Good morning. I just came up on my watch. It's half past eight. The sun is just coming up. And uh, we had a good night. We had a good night's sleep. Winds averaging between 20 and uh, 30 knots, as usual. Straight from behind. And uh, we're doing good speed. Good morning. Day nine soon uh, I just started my watch and it looks like we're gonna have our real our first real squall coming soon exciting my bucket got bad, our port lights were submerged in water. I saw one of them had started taking some water, so I brought out the gaffer tape and sealed it up. It's not pretty, but at least it keeps the water out from the boat. After the first week, we started seeing more and more sargasso seaweed. At first, we could still keep the fishing lines out, but as the fields kept getting bigger, we started losing the lures. And when we got to the halfway mark, we had to stop fishing completely. We didn't catch any more fish, and we just kept losing the lures, so it wasn't worth it. Good morning. It's uh, 8.45 on day 10, and I just uh, sent our position to Steffi. So she got an update on where we are, and then she sends us a weather update back. So, uh, Chris haven't texted me from the sat phone today. Um, I haven't been worried, but now after it has been a whole day and not hearing from him, I'm starting to get really worried. Thinking about the trouble we had with the engine and yeah, how rough it can be out at sea and unexpected things happening. The sad phone is really, it's really my comfort. <laughs> I hope to hear from him soon. The sad phone can really be both a blessing and a curse. We had a few times when messages didn't come through, and even though we knew this might happen, it did cause some worry, as it was our only way of communicating with each other. Sunrise, sorry. Right. 
Pytty panna. Pytty panna. Yes. <laughs> Soon the day started to melt into one. The days were spent by adjusting sails, fixing things on the boat, cooking food, and watching the sun set into the ocean. We made sure to take every opportunity to celebrate as it kept spirits up and we always had something to look forward to. So we celebrated the one third, the halfway, and the two thirds mark. How is it? Have you soon there? Soon there. 600 nautical miles left. Jeffy says east 6 to 9 meters per second, one week ahead. Perfect. Couldn't be better. Sixteen days now, and tonight is probably the darkest night so far. There's uh, no moon, no stars, nothing. Just complete darkness. Uh, but it feels nice. It's nice and calm. We have twenty knots of breeze, and we're doing about five knots of speed. It's. Uh, it feels weird. We're getting closer and closer to land. We only have uh, about 500 nautical miles left. So we should be there in four or five days. So it's uh, it's going to be exciting. But it feels, uh, feels a bit sad as well to leave this, this behind. It's an awesome feeling when you get into it and you get into the rhythm. You feel the movement of the boat and you feel like everything's just working. So it's awesome feeling. It's gonna be, gonna be tough to miss that, but hopefully we'll do, there will be more more trips like this. And uh, I really miss sharing it with Steffi and Leo. So hopefully in the future they can come with us. Now about one hour left, and then Ken is gonna come up and take his night watch. So. Nu ska vi se om vi hittar lite ljus i vårt hus här. Eh, god morgon, god morgon. Klockan är halv fyra. Barbados tid. Och himlen är stjärnklar. Alldeles utmärkt själv. Och det här känns, den här resan känns väldigt, väldigt bra för mig. Jag har inte seglat förut. Men eh, det här har och är verkligen en underupplevelse. Hi, uh, good morning everyone. I'm up on my night shift again. This journey is pretty amazing and uh, the nights, well, tonight so far has been flat sea, pretty quiet and the moon is not up it's that time of the month so we don't get to see the, the moon but 
we get amazing sunsets and sunrises in the morning but right now it's in the middle of the night it's pretty dark but we got sky clear and I can see the stars and thing is when you watch the stars at home you see the stars but here on the Atlantic Ocean it's so intense it's like you see layers and layers of stars in the sky I can just lie on my back on the boat in a quiet evening like this and just watch the stars <laughs> I'm gonna continue to enjoy it and see you later So what are we celebrating today? <laughs> 500. 500? Yes. 500? Yes. 500 left. Yeah. Only 500. Four days left. Yeah, tap it out. Every day is cost for a celebration. <laughs> Today is a very quiet day. The waves have died down and we have about 16, 15, 16 knots of breeze. It's just about perfect. Sun's out. We don't have the fishing lines out because there's still a lot of seaweed. But it's a beautiful day. It's a very, very nice and calm. Not much waves, just cruising along. Uh, Britt and Anna Karin just made um, oatmeal balls. Chocolate. So the afternoon fika is gonna be fantastic. And uh, yeah, all is well aboard Jemaya. We are uh, running out of fresh food. It's really dark. 